Yeah. If those people who are still watching, Rakesy put a big commitment on this video, a, a life-changing goal, actually, on this video for the likes. So as most of us know, he's got a crippling vaping <laughs> addiction. And it's actually been, it's, you know, sometimes his girlfriend wants him to, wants to take him out to, wants him to take her out to dinner. He hasn't got money because he's spent it all on vapes, things like that. <laughs> um, sometimes, he's, sometimes he's eating baked beans for a week because he's spending so much on vapes. But he said if this video gets a thousand likes, he'll stop vaping forever. So you could change one man's health, change the outcome of one man's life just by clicking that like button. All Thanks. right. Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape content with RuneScape related content creators. I'm in that count, one of your hosts, followed by. What's going on, boys? Rakes is always. And it's me, Rice Cup again. Okay. And we have a lot of stuff to cover today. And thankfully, we've brought a beautiful man, Behemoth. Welcome. Thanks for joining us, man. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me. It's weird to hear you say that live, not on a video. <laughs> <laughs> this is did it perfectly. Dude, wait, wait. So you are, do you watch our podcast, by the way? Yeah, I watched a few, and then before, when I was coming on, I was like, shit, I better watch a couple extra. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been meaning to watch the um, Josh one, the RS Felon. Oh, he's a pretty the, good, yeah. he's a pretty good mate really of mine. Good. Um, and I've watched probably like the first like, 20 minutes. Um, and I've watched heaps of his stuff when he's done it with all the others, but um, I just love him and his content. So yeah, I'm, uh, that's on the, on the list to watch. Yeah, we have some exclusive stuff that he said he's never talked Ooh. to. You know? To other podcasts, like about, so, yeah, yeah, that was a great time, man. Uh, I learned a lot <laughs> during that podcast. But yeah, we got Behemoth on. He does highlight channels daily. He's always promoting RuneScape content from Twitch onto YouTube, and uh, I think we need more of that in the community. As Spark Mac used to do that, and I, th does he do that anymore? No, does he stop? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe over the last so. year, he's done. He's done maybe two or three, two or three minute videos over the last year. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and now we do have a Behemoth taking that role, and I just got to ask Behemoth, mm -hmm. what inspired you to start making uh, highlight channels for RuneScape? Yeah, good question. So, um, are you guys? Did you guys know I used to stream? Yeah, I didn't yeah. though. I knew of you. I, I knew of you as a streamer beforehand. A, yeah. a long time ago, uh, Midman Cow. Did you remember? I remember. I I think but I've I'm seen you in my chat. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I used to uh, like maybe drop a little host on you and um, watch you a little bit after streams and stuff. Uh, anyway, so pretty much lived in a house where we had terrible internet. So like did like the worst RuneScape progress videos. Like, that's where it all started. <laughs> Probably like 2016, maybe the start of 17. Like I've still got the, the videos and they're, they're hilarious. Like me learning old school, basically. <laughs> did that and I was I always wanted to stream, but we had like our upload was like, I'm not kidding, like 0 0.5 upload, something like that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Like, Holy like, shit. I, I would upload a YouTube video, a 10-minute YouTube video, and I would put it on, go to work and come back so it would be done. Like that type of stuff. Yeah. God damn. Um, that, that's like my old internet, man. These, Whenever we used to upload these podcasts, I used to have terrible yeah. internet in my old place. And like it would literally yeah. take like two days. And like these guys <laughs> do it, it takes them like an hour to upload. It was like, yeah, like yeah. 20 fiber. Minutes. 20 minutes, bro. <laughs> 20 not fiber. Minutes. Not fiber. Dude, so, um... I, I couldn't be on the computer the whole time. So I'd end up pausing the upload so I could play games and then have to go back to it at nighttime. It was a nightmare. Man, yeah, you guys so are living we're... in like the 1900s. Oh my God. Because <laughs> so I didn't live in When mm. that happened, we were. um Myself and my missus were living with her parents, just saving money to try and buy a house, sort of like get that all that all happening. So I was just doing that. We're on their internet, and then when we bought a house, I was like, I had a goal of we could we could get MBN in Australia. It's called MBN's like the fastest internet we have, so we could get that. And I was I always had the idea of start streaming. So we got a house together, um, got the good internet. I'm like sweet, and like originally I just started streaming. To go, oh, maybe maybe I could promote some of my little YouTube videos, get the YouTube channel sort of moving a little bit. Um, and then before I knew it, like I'm having a stream and making a hundred bucks, and I'm like, fuck, this is this is like we couldn't we couldn't believe it at first. Like, so probably streamed for a good a good year and a half. Like that's why my um, my twit my Twitch is partnered. Like streamed for a year and a half. wasn't wasn't getting like above the 100, 150 mark, but I was holding like 50 to 100 viewers pretty consistently sort of thing. So just snuck in for that uh, partnership and it was all going pretty well. Um, and, I, and that was when the highlight channels were, were boom and there was the moments and a different one that were like massive. But there was always that sort of thought in the community that they're, like they were using 
Bodie's content. They were just ripping off everyone's content originally and it, uh, not originally. After a while, that's why they had to shut down because all copyright stuff re- and the um, YouTube took away the ads and all that stuff. So, but when I was streaming, like I loved being on those channels because yeah, people would come to your chat and say, I've seen you, you'd get a few followers. It would, it would really help me as a streamer uh, being on those channels. So I always loved them, but I, I did hate the fact that they were stealing the YouTube's, YouTube creators content and all of that stuff. Uh, anyway, fast forward a little bit. So streamed for a year and a half. And then um, that's when my first, my first son was born. So still working full time. I was, I was working, getting home, streaming for three or four hours, having dinner, going to bed. Like it was a grind. Like there was no real um, spare time. So I always had the plan when my son was born, I was going to drastically cut down the hours or stop because, you know, you've got a, you've got a kid, you've got to help out your missus. You can't just do that and go to bed when you've got like someone else who's relying on you to look after them and, and be, be there. Like that would be a terrible dad if I was just working like that much, you know? So respect, respect. It, yeah. He, so he was born and then we, um, yeah, slowly, I think I maybe did one or two streams a week and I just said, Oh, I've got to, got to cut out the streams. Um, and then that was sort of when the other highlight channels had died, had time off. Like it was the most time I've had in like the last year and a half. Cause I was just working, wasn't doing any extra projects or anything, spending heaps of time with the family. But I was kind of like, I kind of had that little bit extra time where I was like, I need a little project. I need a little passion, like something to something that I really enjoy. Not that I don't enjoy my work, but I was, yeah, I just needed that little extra something. So I had a little thought, do I start a YouTube channel again? Cause like that doesn't require you to be at the computer for three or four hours, like in one sitting, you can do a little bit, do a bit later. Um, so yeah, started looking around and then I, I looked into the highlight channels that were all gone and I was like, Oh, they're like Bodhi pretty much shut them down. Cause they were all, um, stealing all the clips and everything like that. Um, and I was like, Oh, there's, there's no channels doing it. I was like, why don't I do what I always wanted them to do? I always wanted them to be a permission channel that asked and then uploaded. So yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought stuff it. and like, I didn't, I knew a little bit about editing, but not heaps. Like I pretty much just did it and learned along the way, but just wrote out a big long message asking for permission and just went down my Twitter list and just went sent, 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 sent to every creator uh, that I sort of was following through streaming and um, wrote down the list of who gave permission. And then it just, it just snowballed as I, after my first upload, everyone was like, sweet, a highlight channel's back. Like it seemed like, it seemed like there was a real um, hole in the community. Everyone was wanting that, but no one was doing it. And cause I came in doing it the right way. It, it, it took off quite, quite quick. So that's, that's yeah. how I got into it. Yeah, it went. Hey, it blew out. It blew out. <laughs> I was like, yeah. "Dang!" I mean, I feel like highlight highlight channels are just very good in general for you know streamers, and also pretty much every like game out there that's like semi popular has a highlight channel, like League of Legends. I, yeah. There's a Tarkov one. I'm sure there's plenty more. But um, going back yeah. to the reason why a lot of the uh, the other channels shut down, if I remember yeah. correctly. I remember seeing a Bodhi clip, he was reacting to this, where um, I, I think that one of the guys yeah. who ran one of the highlight channels basically made a comment saying that it, it was something, he, he it was in very bad taste, it was something about he makes more money than like a certain content creator, and at that point in time they were just taking anybody's content. And it, it was yeah. certain people that just did YouTube and like made their yeah. money from YouTube, and obviously streaming yeah. was just more of like a side thing. Do you, yeah. do you remember exactly like what that was? Because my mind's a bit foggy on it, but it was something oh, along I those mi- lines. I missed, I missed the time when they all got shut down. Yeah. I just realized they were all gone and I came into it and I just heard from a few people, oh, they got shut down because of this and that. So I never was, that was probably when I was um, having time away from gaming and everything was when yeah. that all went down. Yeah, yeah so I, missed I, re- it. I, I remember that time because everyone was complaining about these highlight channels stealing clips. Not giving any yeah. credit. I mean, they they couldn't even. And, and they were making the so much. They, they were, were getting like hundred to two hundred thousand views a video, and that and that was before YouTube brought in the rule that's taken away my monetization. It's a, it's called a reuse content policy. That YouTube didn't used to have that, so they were it was free will to get as many ads, do whatever you want with all of that. Yeah, yeah, dude. They, I... they would even run raid Shadow Legends ads on top of that, or gold selling <laughs> ads on top of yeah, some of these highlight yeah. channels. And that is kind of what me pissed me off in total. Because not only yeah. are you going to run 
video clips you don't own. You're gonna you're gonna sell gold to the viewers who enjoy these yeah. content creators and maybe yeah. even get yeah. them hacked or their info stolen. Um, yeah. But the it's funny because stuff was sketchy for sure. It was very sketchy. But I actually dabbled yeah. in the highlight channel. Uh, I had MMC clips because I realized all these highlight channels are out there. They're not doing much. Spark Mac yeah. quit. You, I don't yeah. know what's going at the time. So I only got about 10 episodes. And then once I got to my 10th episode of MMC clips, I'd have people send clips in. Um, yeah. I, one of my favorite PVP content creators, but I can't say his name, Lagnernium. Like, yeah. yeah, I know. He's, <laughs> he's an Aussie, isn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> how, do you, how do you say it, though? Does anyone know? Lag- the Lagnernium or something? I know the one with the... Um, <laughs> It's like a picture of him wearing holiday items on the. Um, yeah, that's his he's got the thing, yeah. big chunk of stuff. Well, he's he started doing. Yeah, yeah. He started doing highlight clips actually, and once I saw him mm. doing it, I'm like, "Hey, I don't got to do it anymore." And I might have even saw that you were starting your rise, Behemoth, because so, I kept hearing yeah, your name. Right. I'm like, "Okay, people are doing yeah. highlight channels again. They're not doing gold selling ads. Yeah. I, I don't have to do it anymore." So I stopped because that was the only reason yeah. I did it. And then Sparkman yeah. came back for like a week or something like he tried yeah. to grab it back and then he quit again. Yeah. So it's the yeah. weirdest thing with all of these, uh, highlight channels making an appearance, coming back, all these yeah. other kind of creators trying it out. Then they quit. And then yeah. you just kind of stuck it out. And now you are the highlight. You're like the premier guy. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the news guy for uh, runescape. I think it's <laughs> Which because we need one. you went about it the Thank right you. way, man. Like asking people for permission, <clears throat> Because I remember yeah. the old highlight channels. This this was something that really negatively affected me. It was one of my finale videos for like a series I was doing. I, I can't remember which one it was. It might have been like making a bill in a month for something like that or a week. A yeah, I think it was, right? yeah, it was something like that. And um, I don't, I didn't stream very much at the time, but I would occasionally do it. And on stream, yeah. I got a twisted bow drop that ended my series. Like it was yeah. significantly like. It was the most significant thing in the entire. I, week I remember. I remember that. I remember that. I was yeah. a fan. I was a fan of you, and I and I liked the highlight. I liked watching the highlights. And I remember I was I was the guy that saw that and went, "Oh shit, that spoiled it." And I I don't think I really watched your video. No, dude, yeah. mate, it was yeah. it was so messed up because like as soon as I got the Tebow, I was like, I was like, okay, sick. I can get this video edited tomorrow. I'll get it up, and like within yeah. like three hours. I saw I think the was... video on a highlight, and I was like, for yeah. fuck. And Those you, rats, you know, bro. You know, something crazy happened as well, because every finale I did before that, the finale video was always significantly bigger in views. That was yeah. the only time when my views, like the finale video had less views than every other episode. And, yeah. uh, this, is, this, is going, it. this is going way back, but yeah, I do have a vague memory of that, and I remember just going, Years ago. oh, like, Oh, like I've seen the like because I was watching your series, waiting like yeah, I was a fan of it, watching it all the videos, and then I remember seeing it on the highlight channel, and whether I clicked your video and just went, oh yep, skip, skip, I know what happens, cool, exit or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> like why would but, you watch? But it? I remember no, it being a bit. I remember it being a big thing. Everyone going like because everyone was when like um, it was at a time where your channel was really big in the community. Not saying it isn't now. Um, and everyone was kind I remember everyone was kind of on board, like watching that series. And then it just went, Oh, well, that's, that's it there. We just all saw it. Yeah. yeah. It hurt. It, it really did hurt, man. And I, I think yeah. like, you know, that's the thing when you, when you came out and you started asking people for permission and stuff, I was just like, that's perfect. And like, another yeah. thing is like, I, I never spoke to you before, you know, the first time I contacted you, obviously, but like. I, I didn't really know who you were, but I remember speaking to you and saying like, Hey man, like I'm happy for to use yeah. my Twitch clips so long as it's not anything which is like taken away from my series. And like, yeah. to give you credit, you were just super respectful and always have been of that. And like, yeah, I thanks. support your channel hundred percent, man. I'm glad to see that it's booming. It's doing very yeah. well. Thank you. And that's something I love with. And it's, it's funny because all you three guys are in the same boat where you all do your own YouTube and we pretty much, I pretty much have the same deal more or less with all three of you where yep. I can use some <laughs> stuff if it's not a spoiler. Um, but, but, I, but I know what's going to be a massive big thing for your videos, so I'll leave that. Like, yeah, I love that we can, that I can have that relationship with the creators to know that's their content, which I can use. Um, but yeah. that, that, that's the thing though. Like that's something which to give you a lot of credit here, the fact that you actually care and you're clearly a part of the community to the point where you you watch other content creators regardless of like how popular yeah. their content is and you take the time out of your day 
to actually I, i'm sure you probably see clips of ours where we get a unique yep. or something like that and you're like oh, oh yeah i can't use that so it's like you're yeah. constantly thinking about that and respect oh yeah it. like that's huge yeah. man and i applaud you for doing that bro because i like I, I i've been waiting for ages and i'm just thinking one of these <laughs> days like something's gonna slip through the cracks and i'm gonna see like a drop of mine on a behemoth channel and it's never happened it, 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 it's happened a little like because i use yeah little 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 things here yeah. and there where they said it was all right or i've used it and it's not um Personally. yeah you gotta think like how many clips i use let's say Every day, maybe 40, 50 times that by seven times that by 52. Like there's th thousands, tens and tens of thousands of clips I'm using. Like there's, there's little ones here and there that I, that slip through and I just, I, I get, you know, they talk to me and I clip it out, I cut it out or little things happen. But yeah, I try and be as um, respectful yeah. as possible. And I mean, someone, experience... someone might not, might not tell me or something. Yeah. Yeah, from my experience, though, though, like I, I haven't had any issues with, you know, when you use my clips, because, you know, usually you kind of know what what thing is kind of like oh it's a dupe like it probably doesn't matter yeah. but you still ask sometimes which is like super yeah. nice because then i'm like oh, oh, yeah, or someone in your get... someone in your raid yeah. got a scythe maybe yeah yeah i remember like you know <laughs> like someone, yeah. i've got You've a clip a on, of yours on, i've got a clip of yours on the list for someone got a scythe in your raid yesterday oh i'm just gonna give you permission now it's all good it's it's <laughs> No, but pretty like, yeah, like pretty good track record, you know, like I, I haven't had any issues. Yeah. I've had issues with those other dudes, like those like out of nowhere dudes where people are like, yo, I've seen this, but like, it's not even on your YouTube. It's like, oh, who is it? You know, like, oh, it's one of those bigger guys. I'm like, oh my God, I got, I got to like deal with this. It's, it's really annoying dealing with those people. It's Bro, mainly it because weird, right? Because just, like, yeah, they weren't even like part of the community, to be honest. They kind of just came out of nowhere just yeah. took yeah. everyone's clips and start uploading monetizing and we're just like yo who are these people Dude, like man there you know? were channels, and was like, i was like what the freak yeah there are was, channels that, was, that yeah. just straight up upload like one of your videos man i actually had i never really checked like youtube messages like messages from youtube <laughs> directly not my comments um and I, I i remember one day i just so happened to look at one on my phone it was like copyright I was like, okay, what the fuck? I don't use music. I was like, it must be an old video of mine or something. Clicked onto it, and some guy had uploaded one of my videos, <laughs> and then copyright claimed me because apparently it was their content. And I was just like, wow, what the yeah. fuck, dude? Like, what is what? this? Wow. Yeah, that that's amazing, dude. So yeah, there's, say, there's those bots like that. Yeah. I was going to say, though, it is, it is a little weird, man, to randomly um, look around these highlight channels of these smaller... Can you even call them creators? I, I'm not going to, right? They're just people who no, steal no, clips. I would, I would not acknowledge and, that. And you just see yourself randomly in these videos. And to me, I don't even consider myself a content creator. I'm just like, you know, I, 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 don't, it, it, I don't personalize with that, right? So when I'm over here, I'm just watching. It's like, why the fuck am I on this random ass video <laughs> of this dude with like 300 views and like 10 dislikes? Like, what, the, what am I doing <laughs> here, man? I don't even know this guy. And then uh, yeah. Behemoth, yeah. you know. He wasn't using my clips for a while because I didn't know I had to give him permission, right? I think he hit me up on Discord, but I never checked my Discord messages. So you're out there and you Discorded me, my bad. Um, but yeah, I, I was like, hey, yeah, you can use my clips. And it, it feels right when it's on his channel. But on other yeah, random yeah. smaller channels of people I don't know, it is the freakiest thing to see your own face and hear your own voice. <laughs> you just don't expect um, it, man. And and just yeah. on that, I think I think RuneScape um, is like, it is a bit of a different community than a lot of other games. Um, I think it's pretty connected, and it's a, it is a bit smaller and a bit a bit closer. If you go to most of the other high, um, games, I don't think there's many permission. Say Fortnite, your Overwatch, whatever. I don't think there is many permission. I think they just go grab, 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 and the content creators just go. We've got to accept that. There's nothing we can do. Um, but for RuneScape, yeah, I definitely think it's because it's such a such a strong community that's been playing for like what twenty odd years. Some of yeah. them. Also, I, I think it's it's yeah. it's really needed to be that permission only that connection it's not just yeah yeah so it's a lot so, different to the other games where it's like that i i yeah. think as yeah. well like something that ties into that <clears throat> is the size of the runescape community because obviously it's probably one of the most loyal communities out there for yeah. runescape they love it but like yeah when it comes to content creators it, it's like there's a big divide right between you know the boaties and the Oda blocks and then pretty much everybody else it's like there's a lot it's like you're talking crumbs kind of thing like the pie the crumb hmm. whatever but it's like yeah when that's the case 
it, it's like put it this way like I, i'll give you a straight up flat example it's like if you were to just take like all of the content that i were to get like drops on stream which all goes into my videos and then nobody watches yeah. my videos like i would have to go get a job like it's as simple <laughs> as that because yep. that's just the reality of it it's just there isn't enough to the point yeah. where it would be, you know, you could get by financially with that money. So I, I think that's probably like, like you said, permission only channels work really well, you know, yeah. because there are certain things with RuneScape specifically where it, it's like you can go down different routes. Obviously, you can be a streamer and be successful with that, and then you don't need to worry about YouTube, or you can do both, yeah. or you can primarily have your finances coming from YouTube and like you stream more or less for fun or just on the side. And yeah. you know, it, it's like. I, I feel like in a way like those channels were hurtful towards YouTube, but they were beneficial to Twitch. Cause I remember that time so well, cause there were so many content creators that were just A-OK -okay with them taking any content, but like yep. it, it was fine for streamers, but there was the other yep. side of the coin where it was like, okay, streamers, you're obviously going to benefit, have more exposure and stuff. Yeah. But the YouTube content creators that make primarily like say 90% of their money for YouTube, yeah. they just can't stream anymore. Like that's just, yeah. that's just done, you know? Yeah. Dude, I, I agree. Um, we have a ton. I mean, RuneScape <laughs> has been buck wild with crazy drama and news. Reddit is brim, full to the brim. Uh, but I do got to say before we jump onto anything else, Behemoth, um, I'm sure you've probably gone public with your story of why your channel's not monetized probably multiple times. But would you care to go into detail once more on this podcast? Yeah. So basically when I started, I thought it would just get monetized straight away, did it and hit all the requirements pretty, pretty fast and applied and YouTube said no. Um, and this is one, one of the reasons the other highlight channel shut down It's called the reused content policy, where if you use um, content that's already been used elsewhere and you upload it without, um, they use the word transformative, without being transformative, putting your own spin on it, your own edits, um, then it won't get won't get YouTube ads. So that happened on the channel um, straight away. That's when I started up the Patreon, things like that, took sponsors. Um, the channel didn't, didn't get monetized for a long time. I was still earning, you know, still earning money from it, but the channel wasn't monetized for, so I started in November, 2019. The channel got monetized November, 2020. So from November, 2020, monetized, awesome from then until when did i lose it must have been about three months ago two or three months ago um out of the blue i had it for six had had was monetized for six months i thought i'd never check it again it would never get taken away randomly out of the blue woke up to a message channel's not monetized and, and that hurt that hurt a lot getting that message um, have you uh, hit up youtube support at all like on twitter try to grow like a, a follower yep. sometimes they make mistakes so, all the i mean they always make mistakes it's youtube yeah Nah, so um, when you get demonetized, you've got to wait 30 days, change your content, and then you can reapply. So, added, I, and to be fair, when they took it away, I was doing the videos um, a bit quicker. I, like, I wasn't doing as many edits. I wasn't doing as much commentary. Like, I was still doing some, but not as much. So, I was kind of like, maybe I was getting a bit lazy on that stuff. They took it away. I was like, yep, fair enough. Uh, well, it, like, I wasn't fair enough at first. At first, I was like, this, it just hurts. Like, if you just... If you just say you've lost so much money, like X amount of money from one email, you're just like, damn, like you don't expect it. Like if, you, if you've had something going for six months, it's all, and you, you're doing it the same as you were three months ago, you don't really just expect it to just disappear, you know, just from one email. So lost it, it hurt, but I got over it. I was like, all right, we'll, we'll change, we'll adapt, we'll get it back. Change the content. I was doing lots, like lots of commentary over, like introducing the person's clip, saying a little thing about it. Did that for 30 days and then applied. And then two days later, YouTube still, they wrote back saying, no, nope, not still the same reason, not, not, um, not re-approved. So then I was like, I've really got to change the content. So for the last two months, I've been doing face cam, heaps of edits, heaps of little things, talking about the stuff. I've made a big intro at the start where I'm reviewing some um, drops and stuff like that. Um, and I applied a month ago to get re-monetized. And it says, and the other one only took two days says usually we'll reply within a month and I'm at the where I'm at at the moment still waiting for that email back. So honestly that does sound better than being de denied in 2 days. So um, <laughs> um yeah, I'll so maybe really, yeah, maybe they're really looking into it. Um a positive is 
I've got, I've got a second channel, Behemoth Reviews Old School RuneScape Highlights. That didn't have the requirements to get monetized. Uploaded one video on it. I'm um, told everyone tomorrow's video will be on this channel. Uploaded that, applied for monetization on that channel. Two days later, that got monetized. So I do have a second channel that's monetized, ready to go. So if this one keeps getting denied, I can just upload on that. But it'll just, it's like growing a brand new channel. Like I think it would happen pretty quick, but it's not going to be the views I'm at now straight away. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got a backup plan there, but um, if it's taking yeah. them that long, I'm, I'll, you know, I'm pretty sure it'll pull out. But if not, hey. Yeah, I really hope so. Do you, um, do you know yeah, why so, this is happening, Behemoth? Like, what, what the reason for this is? They just, they just send an email saying you've lost, um, you're not monetized because of that, this, because of reuse content policy. That's all they put, um, and they just put you need to do X, Y, and Z. Either you need to commentate on the clips, you need to review clips, you need to put significant edits in, or you can't put ads on the video. And I look at the other channels that are all monetized that are doing highlights or similar things. They're just doing a little bit of commentary. They get it, no worries. Um, something that's heaps interesting, I don't know if you guys know I have a RuneScape 3 highlight channel. Do you guys know that? No. Ooh, <laughs> all right. No, no, no. Yeah, so I actually didn't know that. <clears throat> it's... um. When when my channel got monetized, I was like, oh, they. I was like, they maybe they. Uh, and then the um, a different highlight channel got monetized pretty quick. I was like, maybe they're just a plot. Um, just giving out monetization to highlight channels now. So, made a RuneScape three channel. Every video gets about um, ten, probably ten to twenty thousand views, and I do just one a week. So it's not daily, just one a week. That one did no editing. It like no significant editing. Just clip, cut, 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 cut. Applied, got monetization. That's been monetized for like yeah, six or seven months now as well. Like, um, yeah, I wonder why and, they're doing it though. Like, it makes me think going back to the highlight channels, which just robbed content. Like, maybe this yeah. is because like some of them do overstep, right? Like we said. Yeah. So like maybe this is something they're <laughs> trying to stop that from happening because like there are highlight channels out there I've seen that have got up into like millions of views, and it's yeah. like they're making. Like, it's one of those things, like, I don't really care if somebody's making money. It is what it is. We all got to have money. So, like, I don't have a problem yeah. with that. But it's like, I, I guess if it's at the cost of other people's misfortune, that's yeah, when you so kind of go into that area of, like, is this right or wrong? But I'm wondering, like, is that maybe the reason why they're making it harder for channels so like the, your own? So the, um, I, I kind of originally thought it would be, like, a permission would make a difference. Like, if I have permission... They'll go, oh, he's got permission from people to use it. We'll monetize it because everyone he's using wants it to. Seems YouTube doesn't really care about that. If I had all permission or no permission, they just care if I'm making it unique content, more or less. Um, I, think I think there's a, a big degree. I just, I think there's a big degree yeah. of what YouTube um, worker reviews your channel. If you get a good worker, he'll go, oh, yep, yeah, sweet. He's doing enough. It's permission. Yep. If you get a really strict worker, he'll like really analyze it and go, no, nah, he's not doing this and that get it yeah. i think i think it probably stems from obviously uh you know the upper echelons of other games right because like well what how how like let's say people in in a bigger game community complain about highlights and stuff it's probably going to get more traffic where youtube will, would decide policy based on that right they probably didn't decide yeah. the policy based on runescape you know let's be real yeah, yeah. and true. and i think what's happened is is that maybe at some point they had it. They got enough people complaining about like you know highlights and stuff from like the bigger creators, yeah. and they're like looking into it, right? So maybe they kind of just look through some games that are popular, that looked like yeah. they were getting a lot of highlight clips, and then they kind of just check those off as like okay, don't give them you know the yeah. the the monetization pretty much. It but could he, be he like that, you know. What was the yeah. uh, what was the most amount of like average viewers, like the highest end of your average viewers per video at any point in time? Um, so I wish I was monetized during this time, but there was, there was a good, it was just after, I was, so let's go back a bit. When I first started, I was uploading every three days, something like that. Went away for the Christmas holidays, came back, uploading every few days. And then it was as soon as I turned it to every day, um, it, it just, it took off like, like not tenfold, but like it <laughs> took off so much faster. Um, I was, I was getting like nearly 10 K subs a month. Um, and the views, I think they peaked at around like 2.5, 2.6 mil um, a month. So 
Right. I don't know what it was per video, but it seemed like everything I was chucking out was like sixty to eighty thousand views. Um, so, like, just to put it in perspective, so just to, like, I'll just I'll just divide two point six by thirty, and we'll be able to tell pretty much how much yeah. how many. Yeah. So should yeah, we you go around? Yeah. You got it. Yeah, like yeah that's, that's, that's 80, 80, 86,000 um, per view, 86,000 views per video. So you got 86K views per video on average, right? Yeah. So as somebody that plays other games and I follow other highlight channels, because it's just a nice yeah. way to see clips and like good plays and stuff, like I, yeah. I will specifically comment on League of Legends. I don't know if you play League of Legends or you follow that or the highlight channels. Yeah. So yeah. the same thing that's I'm happening to you right now, happen to yep. those channels but their youtube channels were getting god it was like two to yep. three hundred thousand views per video yep. every single yep. day okay that's that's like retirement mine mine's yep. like a little bit extra for the family theirs is just like retire yeah it was a lot of money <laughs> right and yep. they had the same thing hit to them they had to change mm -hmm. their content uh some yep. of them went a really terrible way about it where they started like you know having very questionable ads and stuff for Yep. whatever yep. um but those channels like the views on them now one of those channels gets like maybe 50k views on a good day you know what i mean yep. like some of them like 20k views and stuff like that which yep. is huge like we're talking like a 90 percent decline from what they had so yep. just to put it in perspective that versus yep. you you've probably lost what like your videos now probably get like 40 50k views per day something along those lines so you've yeah. maybe you've maybe lost what like 30 40 percent of views like sure you've lost monetization which is stupid yeah. and it sucks but like yeah. the fact that your channel is still incredibly healthy is shown yeah. in those views like the fact let that me, you're uh, still um, getting that many regardless yeah, let, that's a yeah. good sign that's a very yeah. good yeah i was just i was i was gonna bring that up so on the flip side of losing monetization i was talking to um do you guys know mason my manager from crusader Oh, of course, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was talking to him. I was having a talk to him yesterday, and um, so when I when I'm saying that two point five, that was when it was peaking when I wasn't monetized. Um, it was just a lot of hype around the channel, around the, like the RuneScape, and then the views the views gradually um, dropped after like sales on two point five, two point six, um, slowly went down because it was just I think it was just the repetitive nature of there was like like 10 purples 10 people opening purple chairs wow purple 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 <laughs> um yeah my, my views dropped to around around 1.2 mil a month which is still really good but it is for 30 videos as well you gotta you gotta imagine that so while it's monetized i think it got monetized kind of at like a little a little divot where it was like 1.2 and and i held 1.2 1.3 maybe um until i lost monetization my, my one's gone the opposite of those channels and it and it kind of sounds like obviously this should happen but my one since putting in extra time extra effort my engagement and my views have gone up quite a bit so since putting on the face cam since doing the extra edit since doing the extra um like commentary and um uh, reactions yeah the, the likes have gone up probably 40 percent um and the views have gone up you know, we're sitting on about 1.4 million of view, uh, million views a month. So it's doing all that extra stuff. And it sounds like, oh, obviously, if you put in more effort and make the video more enjoyable, it's going to go up. So, my, yeah, my views have gone up since doing these extra edits. So if we do get monetization back, it's better in the long run because it, the people are engaging and enjoying the videos more now since doing that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that um, is uh, and that's amazing. What, one other thing on that, rather than grab... You know, some videos I was getting literally 50 to 60 clips without doing any commentary in that. 50 to 60 and editing, editing them and just chucking them out. With this new style, because I'm commentating on it, it takes longer. Um, I'm cutting out a lot of the filler clips. So there's a lot less Zenites. There's a lot less just like, oh, decks. Uh, like even like an Iron Man gets a deck. It's not always included now. Like it's a lot more, um, it's taking out a lot of those filler clips and just putting interesting and better clips because... You know, what am I going to say? Oh, yep, you got a Dex. Wow, like another Dex, another Zenite. Like it's only <laughs> it's only including the 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 bar for getting the clips on the channel since doing this new style has really been lifted. So the clips you see are a lot better than they used to be anyway, and there's a lot there's a lot less, but they're a higher quality. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Just have you uh, have you ever thought about doing like themed videos like PK vids or PK week? Or maybe like I don't know. Is there a skiller week? I don't know what. Yeah, we I got did, now, um, wood cutting or something, but. Yeah, I've done hardcore deaths. I've done scamming. A scam. I remember run. the hardcore. I, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's hard now because of DMCA. All the streamers had to go back and delete all their clips. So they're growing. All the clips are growing back now. Uh, I've done like personalized ones, like say best of best of Alfie, best of Fo. I've done like best of videos. Um, yeah, so I've thought of doing the theme ones. It's just a it's just a schedule thing because work full time and do a video a day already. Like where's the, where's the time to put an extra one? You know, maybe on the weekends. But then I'm doing my RuneScape three video on the weekend with my regular video. I, I'm pretty flat, pretty flat out with work. I wouldn't call it work, but I'm pretty flat out with what I do. No, it's definitely yeah. work. Don't let anyone say mm. that. <laughs> um, but yeah, Behemoth, we definitely talked a lot about highlight channels. But oh man, there is just so much to dig into that just happened yeah. this week, last week, hell, even the week before. Yeah. Like oh, I th- man, the oh, stuff dude. going on has been huge lately, and I, I think we want to cover. <laughs> we forgot the light. Wait, what are you man. whispering, right? Oh, it's it's too late. Light. No, it's too it's late. Too late. Right. It's too late. It's late, too late right. Right. No. No. We forgot the <laughs> humor, man. It's... You went, dude. You just took us. I had it. You took I had us it on my mind. I had it on my mind. I was just. I didn't. I didn't get a, a spot to slip it in. I just thought it was a bit <laughs> out of the blue, but. Yeah. If those people who are still watching, Rakesy put a big commitment on this video, a, a life changing goal actually on this video for the likes. Yeah. Uh, so, so, a thousand you... likes, and Rakesy said he'll um, stop vaping forever. So, as most of us know, he's got a crippling <laughs> vaping addiction. And it's actually been, it's, you know, sometimes his girlfriend wants him, to, wants, to take him out to, wants him to take her out to dinner. He hasn't got money because he's spent it all on vapes, things like that. Yeah. Um, sometimes he's sometimes he's eating baked beans for a week because he's spending so much on vapes. But he said if this video gets a thousand likes, he will stop vaping forever. So you could change one man's health, change the outcome of one man's life just by clicking that like button. Yes, and now you're thinking, Good. what if what if we hit a thousand likes and Rakey just starts vaping again? Well, even better if he starts vaping again, which he won't. He will literally shave off his hair this time. Nah. That is nah, a guarantee. Nice. So- that is. That is commitment. Yeah. So if you see him on stream I, can, and you see, you see a puff, take a picture. Is, bro. Like, bro. Look at this. We're, Imagine if I was bald, man. Dude, it would be not change it. Hey, <laughs> This is life-changing, dude. If you see one puff on his stream, send a picture in, send it to our DM, send it over. Yeah. Room. His hair is gone, yeah. dude. All right? We're keeping him to this Yeah, commitment. we'll personally okay. fly over there, dude. And, Rake, see, what you should do is add this to the front of the video so people see it. How about that? Oh, I will, dude. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right. I got All right. It, we'll get you. It. Drop the likes. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so let's talk about Group Iron Man and everything going on with that. The mass dislikes hmm. coming in. The mass polling. Block saying at, at the end of Lag X Dead Man Mode that everyone should vote no to Group Iron Man because PvP is not doing too well in RuneScape. Uh, it, it's been crazy. Now, do you guys think they're still going to pass Group Iron Man? Yeah, actually, it's not even a question. I think they literally gave oh, out a date. Yeah, it's already passed, yeah, it's, dude. Yeah, eighty yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah passed, so, man. So we, were, we were talking before that I was saying I, I'm not a jump on the conspiracy bandwagon, but there is that thought in the back of my mind. Did they influence a little bit? Probably not, but I've just got that little thought. Do you think RuneScape stepped there. in and made the group Iron Man pass? Is that what you're saying? I, I don't. I don't think so. But the back of my mind is like they could have. Oh, they yeah, could have. I'm not putting it out there that I think they did. But you know, if you're sitting you there know, going, "Oh, it failed by two percent," and you, you're not, you're not actually just going, "Hmm, I could just click a couple of numbers and it passes." <clears throat> so like, to give some know. backstory though to this this situation before we go in. Uh, Earlier, there was a 117 HD client that is now in RuneLight. You can use the HD. It looks amazing. We went over that the last yeah. podcast. RuneScape yeah. said they weren't going to add it in. Huge riot, Falador World, yeah. World 2. Well, this rioting phase kind of slipped over into the group Iron Man passing because there's no PvP pool. So people want PvP. They want Wilderness. They want a better MMO tournament, which we will talk about and all the lag. So they started rioting again. And they started saying that everyone should vote no on Group Iron Man because it's a big update and that would probably make Jack Hicks consider actually putting out PvP updates. And 
you know, I, I got to say that group Iron Man passing, maybe they didn't add votes, but it is definitely a possibility that they took away votes from maybe spam accounts, uh, bot accounts, etc. Because I know they've done that before in the polling system. So there's a good chance yeah, where right. they might have actually not 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 mess with the yeses, but maybe the noes a little bit to make it actually What a, what a title for a video. Did mm. Jack X mess with the group Iron Man votes? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got it, man. He's giving us it rigged? Rigged? Controversial. <laughs> Old school um, rolling, you know, rigged is, question mark. Is, is there a, um, there's not a way for you guys to play a clip on, on this screen? Not on this one, no. <laughs> not this one, sorry. I man. mean, we, we, I, could, um, we could play I'll it, but it'll cover, you, like, the thing, there, you know. There was a, um, I got sent a clip today, or I found it actually just before I came on the podcast of, um, a stream he might, I don't know if you know him, New Zealand Boski, um, new, a smaller New Zealand streamer. He went to Falador after Group Iron Man passed because someone said there was some riots that had passed. So he went to Falador to check it out and there was like, there must have been like 20 people standing there trying to start a riot. <laughs> like, there, there was, and he, and, and he, made a, he made a joke that the whole PvP community was there rioting because it failed, because uh, Group, group that passed. Was a, that was, was like, a yeah, riot. Was like, there was like 20 people standing there going, like 20 people trying to go like, this sucks, but there was like no one there. Like, let's be real. All the PvPers probably want to play with their friends too on the group Iron Man, you know? No. Well, is some like, of them, yes. Yeah, group PvP like, Iron Man. Is, uh, is it like frowned upon like the um, the PvP gangsters like, oh, I'm voting no, and they're like secretly when when they're not in the Discord with their clan, they're voting yes because they want to play with a few mates on group Exactly. It's like, I want to play like back in the old days. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. speak for all PKers, definitely, but it almost feels like there's a loud, not majority, a loud minority, and maybe that comes from these top leaders of clans that get all their clan mates to like their posts and stuff and Reddit, and they do all that, right? And then just a silent majority of people who just want to go out the revs, hang out with their buddies, slap some ass, watch some vids, and honestly, they probably don't even vote on the polls. Let's be real. It's, it's these people who have their clans, or maybe they're just trying to negatively impact RuneScape. Not saying all clans are negative, but... I do follow these guys on Twitter. I see <laughs> that they are literally yeah. actively trying to get people to vote no in Group Iron Man, all this stuff. Yeah, um, in, and in honestly, saying that, I, yeah, I can fully see where they're coming from, missing out on so many updates. And then yeah. you see the other side of the community get it. You kind of like, yeah, you kind of throw your hands up like, how come they're all getting this new cool stuff and we don't get anything? Nothing passes for us. Like, I, I get that yep. side, yeah. Yeah, Honestly, I, and I was going to see your guys' opinion. Like, do you think this whole voting no to Group Iron Man um did something do you do you agree that this method worked or maybe this is the wrong way to approach it um in my opinion i don't like to see the community fight each other but it almost seems like if you don't do something so rash and crazy then we might never get pvp updates again now i i say that i didn't vote at all i didn't message anyone to do any of this stuff i didn't get involved at all because it just seemed too sketch in my opinion but it did get a lot of uh, it. It got the message out. I mean, RuneScape heard it loud and clear. Yeah. So, yep. do you guys think maybe that's how yeah. they have to do it, or do you disagree? I with got a it? yeah. I got a, a little opinion on that. Um, it's it's weird seeing it from the PvP side this time, but realistically, everyone's kind of turning a bit of a blind eye that the PVMers have been putting out vote no to PvP way before all the um, PK clans have done any of this. Like it's yeah. been a meme in the community. And they're the PVM side, uh, like the Iron Man and that. They're a, they're a much bigger group as we saw. It's like eighty, maybe about an eighty twenty split, like we saw from the vote. They've been saying vote no to PVP for a lot longer, and everyone just says they've been saying it. Pass it off, and this is the first time the PK community's been saying vote no to your stuff. Still didn't work, but you know it's kind of like they're they're just doing what the other side of the community's doing to them. But no one really bats an eye when the when the PVM side does it. PK side does it now and everyone's like, whoa, you yeah. know? <laughs> You're mean, making a great point there. The, really the are, last man. time I checked, uh, it was less than 5% of the player base do PvP. Now, wow. for these, for this actual poll, uh, I voted no. But I voted no for a very different reason than like Oda Block and a lot of people that just jumped on the bandwagon. So, um, like you described, yeah, there was a lot of people just like hating on the tournament and voting no, which is pretty petty to be honest with you but um the reason i voted no and i'm gonna preference this by saying i have a group iron man team i am buzzing for it um was simply because i saw that there was no way that even if it failed the jagex weren't gonna put this into the game 
they've worked like two maybe three years completely redesigned yeah. systems in the yeah. game to release this and my hope was that by voting no they would be forced to put the update into the game even though it failed which would then lead to a lot of community backlash and then they would have to effectively address the polling system uh which is exactly yeah. what i want them to do and to be completely honest like the statement that they gave on this which was uh were you going to add group iron man if it didn't pass the poll and the response is uh we would have respected the poll result as with many other polls which have failed we have reviewed uh the result the feedback and would have considered revising the design with potential to repoll. Now, I don't know about you, man, but like, I personally find that just like, are they trying to insult our intelligence or some shit? Because That's like, here's, words. <laughs> here, here, here's the reality: they're not so stupid and naive to think that people were voting no because they didn't think this was good for the game. So, therefore, yeah. why would you even bother repolling it with a different design? Because people are just gonna vote no because it's not the point. The point is, there are people that use the voting system specifically to stop people getting things that they want, okay? And, like, yeah. listen, we could get into a whole conversation about this, but, like, the way the polling system should work in an ideal world is simply a case of, you know, do you want this update to come in this game? Yes or no. That's great. Like, that's how it should be. But at this point, it doesn't work because it's no longer a case of that. It's a case of, will this benefit me? And if not, who will it benefit? Oh, the PvP as it benefits. I don't want them to have it. So it's like yeah. the whole thing's just silly, man. They need to address the polling system. Now, like I, 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 for sure. I voted <clears throat> no way before the whole Ola block thing mm. and stuff like that, because I think it's really important that Jagex address it. And uh like <laughs> I'm just at the point now where I'm just like, I don't I didn't know what to think. Like the fact they're gonna if it failed, they were gonna change a few things. It's like are, they're either pretending to be dumb or they're just completely just like blind and i i, I don't know which i i would like to say they're just pretending to be dumb and just not rock the boat or whatever yeah no it, it was pretty dumb because they didn't even have to pull this at all because no, exactly. they should because with leagues uh, they don't exactly. even pull it it's a new yeah. mode they don't pull it group environment it's a new mode but they pulled it i mean i don't know why <laughs> so they, they didn't, didn't even have to pull it uh, another thing that i hear a lot is like why the hell did they just spend two years working on this without polling it in the first place? Like, imagine if this actually did fail and they were just like, oh, okay, well, we're just not going to put it into the game, even though it's yeah, they should have pulled so this two years ago. Revenue. It would be like the, the most short sighted way of doing this. I just, there, there, there's some, there's some like fucking three dimensional chess happening right now with the polling system and Jagex. You want to talk yeah. about conspiracy? I swear, I, I, I actually have a conspiracy that I think. <laughs> The mm -hmm. Jagex are allowing the player base, and I think that they secretly hate the polling system. I genuinely believe that. I've I've spoken yeah. to J mods. I've had these conversations in Jagex. I honestly believe that they are basically waiting for the polling system to get so bad to the point where nothing comes into the game. And when that day comes, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you guys, you guys don't want the polling system. You you want us to, you know, start putting stuff into the game willy nilly. That's that's okay, guys. Like we, we can do that." Not a they could poll. They could poll it. Sl I'm slight. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have I have concerns, but it's kind of like the opposite, where uh, too many things pass that it kind of fucks the game over, and then they have to yeah. they have to be like, all right, yo, we can't just be like, do you want five million GP? Yes or no? And everyone votes yes. We can't have these anymore. Sorry, you know, we got to do something about that because I, I feel like that yeah. is like a, an extreme example, though, because. Like, here's the thing, like, Jagex have made a lot of, like, really questionable decisions in the past, pre-OC, RuneScape 3, and all of that, without letting the community have any say, okay? Yeah. yeah. Now, call me, I don't know, maybe I have too much faith, and I have too much faith in humans or whatever, I don't know, but I don't yeah, believe like that they would be so stupid as to be like, okay, guys, we're gonna give everybody five mil, or we're gonna change the combat system completely. Like, oh, I no, more, not like I that. I have more belief no. in the team than that, because they know the people that play old school are the people that don't want to play RuneScape free because of those reasons. Like there, there's a specific yeah. reason why. So, you know? but, but like you know, I've talked so much about the polling system or whatever. But like, oh yeah, but and the, I remember I'll the blowpipe I'll be, I'll be real. I'll be real. I'll try to be real quick about it. But like m most people that vote on the polls, they just want things that benefit them, right? And every week, it's usually eighty percent quality of lives. These questions are 
you can it's it's as simple as do you want five million gp yes or no because that's literally what it is it's it's a question just comes down to um do, do you want this benefit yes or no of course they're gonna vote yes because it, it positively affects most people and we're all selfish people why would we not vote yes right why yeah, would human we nature, not want... human nature to vote yeah. yes yeah exactly why would you not want a specific grind to be two seconds faster every time right it's yeah. it's literally the same concept of course these guys are going to vote yes but the, you know these have problems because it does not respect the integrity of the game because the every time you say yes to these updates they add up over time now like one update you save two seconds and then you add another update you might save five seconds you know and then uh, out of nowhere in one whole week's worth of update you've saved like a whole minute two minutes of of your like uh, i don't know 30 minute grind and then you it, it just adds up and up and how many years has this happened, been happening before you know it it's easy scale. yeah before you know it we've already saved hundreds of hours you, like that is the truth we've literally because of all these quality lives we've saved probably hundreds of hours like yeah, for example to yeah. maxing or something but like that yeah. that's that's one side of it right obviously the other side is the spike polling that stuff needs to be addressed but i think they need to really reformat the idea of what what it means to put something on the poll because like quality of lives, I just don't think needs needs to be at, at such a, a rapid volume. It shouldn't be at every week there's a quality of life coming from the polls. Like we need quality, not quantity, right? Like all these quality of lives don't make the game better. All it does is make people lazier and disrespect the integrity of the game in the long run, you know? Like focus on the quality of things that you want to pull. And obviously, if it's a PvP update, you they might have to do things differently in how they pull it because it's not it's not gonna pass like, you know, nine out of ten times. It's obvious because, yeah. you know, majority of the player base, it's like, it doesn't, uh, like, it's not positive for them. So why would they vote yes? Yeah. You know? Because again, Agreed. people are selfish people, you know? So they yeah. do need to reformat the way they do these polls, like, they from do, quality man. of life and from, like, spy polling perspective. You, you know? So, you know, the depressing part is that, like, Rexy was saying that there's only, like, 5% of the community that actually PKs. It's probably even less. And the only reason that is is because we actually have every good pvp update taken away bounty hunter revs and then you see when deadman mode actually comes into full force you have these clans battling for corp they're collecting spirit shields everybody in the top 100 was max and yet people are like yeah pvp community is is a minority then how are all these people doing such crazy things and it's the extreme side of pvp and when they have the opportunity they will spend weeks sweating out enjoying a game mode that will only last for a month or six weeks because there's literally nothing in the wild. Our, yeah. The PvP population can't possibly grow to the point where we can get updates when there is nothing to do in PvP. Are they just going to sit out there and count the black chin spawning? There's nothing for them to do. Yeah, so, of course, it's going to shrink and shrink and shrink, and then we, we're not going to get any updates because no one's going to vote. Yeah, yeah which yeah. makes yeah. it worse over time, you know, because then people oh, will, you know, because then you have a bigger mass of people that are in the PvM scaling section voting no now, you know? Because it doesn't benefit them, right? It negatively affects them. So, by the yeah, way, yo, like PVMers and skillers, what are you guys <laughs> saving your money for? In my brain, it doesn't make sense <laughs> that you are saving your money to skill or PVM better. You're just fighting a, a an NPC <laughs> for better weapons and armor to fight another NPC. Go play chess you. against a robot, dude. What Bro, are you that, doing? That you got to understand that's though. Good. That's yeah. a very yeah. peak. It's a escape right there. Yeah, and I know exactly what you mean a, because a... that was me many years ago. Like it's the only not... thing I'd ever use money for was to go PK, and I, I, I get it, I get it. But then look at Rice Cup. This man has like twenty Tebos. Like, and he's so stingy. With them. <laughs> Rice, what do you need? One. What else do you need, bro? Dude, Just start I don't PK, even vote. man. I don't even vote, bro. <laughs> Fuck the polling system, man. I, I haven't liked it in like four years, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, it does definitely yes, need a change, um, man. Dude, yeah. I would I would love if we could get J mods on to specifically talk about it, but I I don't know. They might get fired subject. though. Yeah, it, it's one of the. It, it's like there's a gun in there. All all of a sudden pops up in the background. You just and the webcam like, goes black. Things, there's certain things they can talk about. There's things that yeah. they talk about. Mom the risk key. of losing their jobs could potentially be an outcome. So I totally understand that. But like, God, I, I feel like we should have that conversation, man. And also regarding PvP, like we should do a PvP podcast at some point because well, like, damn, like agreed. shit needs to get done. It really does. Yo, agreed. Um, and also on... at, at mm. the end, we have a little bit of a PvP update that we'll talk about later that Jagex implemented. Can't wait to yeah. share that crazy news. Yo, call, call me Mr. Prediction, but like, I'm usually good at pretty much predicting certain things that's going to have a fallout, you know? 
like the blow pipe and all the rebouncing bullshit that was gonna happen. Sometimes it takes a year or two, but it does happen, right? Like I, I just know that because I've talked so much about the polling, you know, in the past, and people got so annoyed by it. Usually, there's something that comes out of that in the future, you know? Yeah. Because like I'm sensing something, and and there's a you know I'm sensing. It, it's kind of boiling down to something so th- we probably will see some huge my guess you know that's the only thing i'm no. confident about sometimes my guess well, when they're forced that, they have to do yeah. something right or yeah no, i just feel like riot. it's coming towards it eventually like maybe I, in a I, year or so you know i think something and this may be a bit of a stretch but at the end of the day right you're talking about boiling down to something right it, yep. it's like i, I feel it's like the feeling. majority it's just of players feeling, you know it's yeah just that, it's feeling. just in the air dude like we all feel it the majority yeah. of players are worried about Jagex taking full control of the game and doing what they want with it. Now, just just take a leap back, just chill for just just two seconds, and just think. If things continue going the way they do with the polling system, and it gets so bad to the point where just shit does not come into the game, like what what do you or think the outcome there is? Here. Or or too much. What what what's the outcome there? I mean, right? the outcomes already happen. People have moved over to other games, and it's just constantly well, happening. There's so. that, and there's also the outcome of like Jagex being like, okay, well, we can't not have things coming into the game. The polling system's not working. Let's remove that, and we just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, they like, they have to. I, I think the best thing that they'll end up doing is they restructure it so that it's not always a oh, seventy-five percent means automatic yes. You know, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like maybe some some sort of things which is like, it's like not too controversial. Well, can can set that threshold of yes or no. But I think other things should be more of a suggestion you know kind yeah. of deal yeah so i agree with the suggestion I, I i see it as um a lot of the players sort of have this like entitlement we need to if we thought and there's a reason that we think like we can't trust the jmods with a lot of updates because they've they have got a bit of a bad track record of doing stuff that's like why did you do this but we do like the best place would be to be in a place where we trust them we go oh they're the that's the boss Here's a poll. We can vote on it, and then they will, they'll take that into consideration. As this is what this is what the player base is thinking. But end of the day, they're the boss saying this will be better off, and we need to trust that judgment. But the reason we don't trust that judgment and we don't want to give them that power is because they've just made so many mistakes in the past. You know, that's why everyone wanted the poll system to say we have the say in the game because they were doing such a bad job. If the JMOs were doing such a good job, just use the polling system as oh, this is what the player base thinks. We'll take that into consideration. We'll have a think about it, but overall, we'll make the decision. Yeah. But no one trusts them to make the overall decision because they've just made so many mistakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I'll, 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 just, like, I'll give you a good example of why the polling system isn't, isn't that good anymore. It's because, for example, the, the HD thing, right? That wasn't even a poll thing, you know? That was just something they did. And then they 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 got the you know direct feedback from the entire community that oh they got a lot of feedback thing, you know and they didn't need no polling system for that it was very clear cut that like okay pretty yeah. much like ninety nine percent of the player base says we're dumb so let's uh you know change our decision you know what I mean like they didn't need no polling system for that right there's because like the polling system can only do so much the players already have this power the polling system or not like this polling yeah. thing doesn't do crap nowadays like in terms of making real legitimate like things happen on, on its own it's not because of the polling system that the game is moving forward it's because of the fact that now the the you know the j mods are are so connected to the community that there's no going back now you can't just do things behind their backs anymore it's like it's impossible you know yeah. they'll see it they'll track it you know what i mean one person talks everyone's gonna know it, you don't need a polling system for that no more you know yeah i think we can all agree and i mean for years yeah. that the polling system has not been the very, very best. Um, I do want to just get back to the group Iron Man, not yep. failing actually, but passing. I think it's out October six. Yep. Now, I hope the they gentleman, the general feeling, and I feel the same way because this is why I'm not going to be doing group Iron Man is the mm. timing because we had Dead Man mode. Now we have group Iron Man, and then we'll have leagues at the end of the year. And a lot of people are thinking maybe it should have been Dead Man mode, leagues. And then group Iron Man to finish off the year. Do you guys think the timing is a little awkward? Yeah. Yes, hundred percent. Everybody thinks so. I think people people are going to yeah. have to go from one game mode. And go, oh, I started this now. Pause it for a temporary one, and then go back. It, it, it's it's not logical <laughs> hey, at all. I'm not playing Trailblazers or whatever that crap's called. So you know, it's only going to benefit hey. me and my GIM group. <laughs> Dragon Tears. That's a good, good point. <laughs> Dra- Dragon Tears, homies, right here, buddy. I, I We're I the better people. 
no like it, it is stupid because group iron man is a, it's a long-term mode technically yeah. like like not not for many players but for some groups they they could be playing for months and years right but like yeah it's just why i don't i don't even understand honestly like it made no sense because like i was planning things i was like leagues probably coming out first because it's you know it's like it's two, uh, one and a half months done right makes so much sense and then all of a sudden they're like yo uh, group group environment 20 days from now 20 days from now why didn't you just announce that shit two months ago you know yeah. mm-hmm. like it it's it was just i was just like what the hell why is it such short notice i, I like movie Every, trailers come out two years in advance why is everyone's gonna get every, everyone like, will get really everyone's gonna get really high like afking skills over that um time oh, everyone's yeah. got wood, wood cutting on the side fishing on the side you know what i mean yeah, so bad this dude. isn't this isn't super inscape related, but um, if you guys don't know, Amazon is, is now coming out with New World on the 28th of September. And Group Iron Man is coming out October 6th, which is right after that. And I'm wondering if Group Iron Man was such a big thing for, I mean, we were promised at 2019, remember? People were going crazy. I wonder if that's the reason why. They don't think Leagues is as big. Right. Maybe they're not even thinking about New World, but honestly, I would be if I was them because uh, Amazon's a huge competitor in every field they go for. So maybe the timing adds up because Group Iron Man's much bigger than Leagues is they want that right after the New World update. So people are like, oh, I love New World, but I really want to jump on it and play some Group Iron Man, buddy. So, well, you know. first off, we've got to think is, is Group Iron Man bigger than Leagues? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, think so. I, I, think I don't freaking know, dude. I think it's so. Um, oh, people have been wanting it forever. I mean, leagues, yeah. leagues is gonna be great, but people have been wanting Group Iron Man forever. We're talking the sweatiest PVMers, dude. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. talking, you know, that guy who shit his pants to get ranked two smithing. We're talking sweatier right, people. Yeah, we're talking sweatier people <laughs> than that. And then we're talking full four. These people are gonna sleep, not no sleep, yeah. just chugging Mountain Dews, playing Group Iron They're Man gonna until like twenty twenty three, dude. They're gonna be I going for the high if, ranks. Um, I do wonder if this New World game's looking for a highlight channel. <laughs> honestly uh, probably sneak in there <laughs> pop my content you know what i'm saying that'd be great man that's a shout but out just shout out new world i'm does. just thinking like timing wise where were the updates beginning of the year they had all this time to spread it out now all of a sudden we had they this didn't. summit they they, we have the summit super close to new world coming out all of this crazy stuff end of year what are they doing why not spread this out why wait for all of this crazy hype as soon as uh, another MMO starts, possibly taking some players off the side, man. So the timing just feels weird right now. I, I think it's probably mostly coincidental. And like, yeah. h- h- here's the reality of it. People that play RuneScape play RuneScape. People that play World of Warcraft play Warcraft. And it's like, World of Warcraft will probably have way more similarities to New World than RuneScape will. So it's like... You'd be surprised. So, I mean, surprised, so okay, you guys are both you, I, right. Played you guys World's. are both right. I've played honest. it, and I also think that I, I don't know if you've. I don't want to put a downer on it because I know you're looking forward to it, and I'm also going to play it as well. But I won't be playing it long term simply because uh, the game to begin with is going to have some form of cosmetic MTX, which Amazon have basically built a game model that's going to be a big system for their income through yeah. MTX through their game. And that's yeah. not the kind of game I like to play. Well, it's so, cool because it, the players actually voted against having any bonuses and stuff because they were trying to sell bonuses and stuff like RuneScape 3 yeah. was. But now uh, it's just cosmetics, which honestly, I mean, if you want a dog or something to follow you, I don't care. It's Amazon. I expected much more. And I'm definitely yeah. not trying to promote New World. I just, to me, timing is everything when it comes to launching of games, right? I think yeah. we can all agree that timing is everything, right? And if you have two games launching around the same time, that's going to impact your game no matter what you think. Uh, and yeah. I don't know if New World is super similar to RuneScape. They do have some features where you can mine, you can fish, you can woodcut, and it, the leveling system and the gathering and the crafting. They have all this in the PvP, <laughs> right? They have all that, but it's su- not super similar. But yeah. they are launching at extremely is, similar is it a, times. Is, yeah. it a free ga- is it a free game? No, you got to pay $60, uh, and then you're good. So Or 40 once. actually, 40 And then they have the... They have the MTX for visual on top of that. If you want. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not going to get any of that. I ain't. But, but that's the thing is just timing wise is I always look at games like when Fortnite was released and you got a uh, war zone with the BRs and there was like a BR war. I always look at the timing. Right. And sometimes, uh, yeah. you know, Riot released Valorant sure. after all that. And then they took all, you know, how Valorant got all this hype because they timed it right after a big launch. You know, so, you, so think you guys. Yeah, you, you guys are both right because 
if we're talking about people that are veterans, they won't switch games really like long term. But we're talking, yeah. but Mint's talking about like the new prospects, you know, because old, old school RuneScape or RuneScape in general, I think one of the hardest things for, for us as a community is to get new people in and keep them in, you know, like have, have them have this game yeah. become a habit of theirs for, you know, yearly basis. So, yeah, timing is really important because obviously which hype big thing comes out that reaches the, the meta players, not just risky players, is important. So, so, so from that yeah. perspective, yeah, it, it, is, it is pretty important because I, I don't know, like, will Group Iron Man be such a, good, such a huge update in the sense that new people that have never played RuneScape before but have heard of it is finally giving it a chance to stick, you know, stick, stick their toes in here, you know, get I their think feet it might. I think we'll have to or, see. Um, it might we'll bring see. back a lot of people who, you know, there's a lot of people who watch RuneScape videos who used to play and they've just stopped playing. They don't play anymore. A new yeah, game, they might be like, yeah, it might be a lot of returning players where they're not playing RuneScape anymore. They, they'd go, oh, I might play this new game that's coming out. Or they go, oh, Group Iron Man's there. Oh, I'll play that. And then if they get hooked on that, they're not going to have time to play a new yeah. game. I mean, yeah, I'm su- I'm surprised yeah. to see how many people are actually unrenewing their subscriptions, and like they're not even they're vocal about it too on RuneScape. Yeah. They'll they'll say, "Hey, yep, not subbing anymore. I don't like what they did, or I just went to the Falador's, or I can't wait for this game to launch. I'm, I'm done with I, this." I find I've it been seeing super that so interesting. Often. Yeah, I find it super interesting how many watch videos but don't play. So, just an example on my channel, I put out a poll: um, Are you playing with the new HD graphics? And I had yes, no, don't play anymore. And thirty percent of the votes we don't we don't play anymore. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So say yeah. if you look at, you know, what percent of the community, if it's around twenty to thirty percent, just still watch watch RuneScape content but don't play. That's a big a big chunk. Mm-hmm. If a new game mode comes in, there's a certain portion of them that are going to go, yeah, I'll give it a try. And they're playing with their friends, so it's that fun aspect, that social game as well. So yeah, they definitely will bring a lot back when Group Iron Man comes out for sure. Yeah, yeah. it's always a cycle, you know, like new. Uh, Existing yeah. players that go on long term breaks, they come back after months or years. Yeah, so it's like a Good cycle. I, but, I like, these I would consider those the veteran players, you know, based yeah. Yeah. So. with the unfortunate like time of both of these games coming in. Something which isn't uncommon within the gaming industry is that one game will move its game's launch. So, like, if Jagex wow. were really concerned with you know, New Worlds just depleting the player base, they could always be like, hey, we're gonna delay it a month. And like a I lot of like, games do that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I've seen, time, I've seen. It's, it's like tactical. Like uh, yeah, there yeah. was one recently, I think it was with uh, Blizzard and uh, the guys who make Ashes of Creation. And uh, Ashes of Creation announced their their like date of launch for a beta. And then Blizzard basically said, yeah, we're doing our, our whole new, uh, what do they call it in World of Warcraft? Vanilla? It called, the vanilla client, maybe? It was a vanilla expansion. Oh, sorry. And they were like, no, we're doing crazy. it on the same day. So see that's what i was that's what i was saying earlier definitely there's definitely something there yeah that's what i was saying earlier is that i watch these because i heard about that too i watch these gaming companies and they'll see a release date and they'll be like you know what we're a bigger company we'll probably uh outshadow them on the news right because that's kind of how gaming news works like oh what's happening today oh you hear blizzard just lost a whole expansion pack oh and then i think there's a beta going on too for some other game it's like you don't even see that second half so when you yeah. say that um, maybe the RuneScape might relaunch Group Iron Man, I feel like they picked this date because they want to try to keep people playing because they understand how these, it's not a non-permanent game mode, right? But they understand how these non-permanent game modes and events and, and new Iron Man uh, accounts work, right? People sweat hard the first couple months. They continuously, uh, continuously play the same game. They don't play anything else. They want to go for rank. They know people are sweaty, right? That's why they got the tier system in leagues. They know they're not taking breaks. They're like, hey, please take a break every six hours. They don't want you to take a break every six hours. They want you to keep playing. That's why they are doing this. So in in my opinion, I I feel like they want you on Group Iron Man because Amazon's coming out very soon. It's like, we need to get Um, these sweaty people on our game. We can't have them grinding anything else. Yeah, there's another perspective is also uh, the first half of this year was the slowest it's ever been in a long time yeah and that that was really that was probably some of like the the lowest um downhill points for the runescape community because like everybody was like not playing the game pretty much like especially the high level players they just were like there's nothing to do 
right? Yeah. And then now it's kind of like they're like boiling it all up to having all these hype updates back to back to back because y'all haven't even mentioned race three, right? We have we have literally group Iron Man around. The oh horizon, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> and then we have leagues. So, so so group Iron Man, I could foresee the hype being at least a solid month, right? Because usually you know a month minimum for something this awaited. Yeah. You have a month or two of of hype from a new mode. And then leagues, you also have another month or uh, two, well, like a month of hype. So that's three months right there of hype. And then race three, which is an easy two months of hype. So yeah. you, you literally <laughs> have the next half year just blowing old school, you know, like uh, up to the charts. Like, the, you know what I mean? It's going to be like top five, like on yeah. Twitch, like all day long for like dude, the next half a year, dude. <laughs> I, I so they're for... going ham. They are going ham. I, I yeah. do understand your point, by the way, man. I think... There could possibly be something in that, um, but I, I think I just something. I get excited. I know, yeah. I know. I, yeah. I'm looking forward uh -huh. to New World as well. I'm gonna play. It. I have like my. I already have the game. So. Um, oh, I wish we could be on the know. same server, but you live way far away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I, it'd be interesting to see like between the two because it, it's like the people that play old school. It's like you know most people that play old school runescape are interested in one thing and one thing only and that's old school runescape you know and it's yeah. like a lot of people just take breaks and go and play other games i wouldn't say it's super common for a runescape an old school runescape player to be playing like a ton of different games all at the same time it's usually a case of like oh, i'm burnt out taking a break for a bit so i imagine there will be a lot of people that are just like i'm gonna go on to new worlds but like it'd be interesting to see because like group iron man it's like that shit's so appealing. Like we've been waiting for that for so long. I, as somebody yeah. who's never played Iron Man, we were talking about new players come to it. I have a hardcore, but I never really played it. I just like AFK'd mm. on it and stuff. But like, I am pumped for Group Iron Man, and do you know why? Because I watched Rice Cup solo Corporal Beast, and I was fucking disgusted. And I don't have to do that shit. And I'm so glad that was literally well, the thing that stopped me Iron making Man an Iron Man. I was like, there's no way I'm killing like two corps an hour. Dude. I was like, that's fucking weird. You have to be absolutely out of your mind seven. to do that. What is Damn, wrong with you? Damn. Damn. We don't have Look to do that now. Hour. So, I mean, one of the first things my group are doing, I'm just like, I'm so hyped. I'm like, we're rushing. Silk. Corp. We're, oh. we're going to be the first group <laughs> Iron Man to get a fucking complete sigil in our team. That's our goal. That's what we're going That'd for. Be cool. That would yeah. be cool. We got, we got a plan as well. Uh, dude, I'm going to be rotten last month's stand-in for Dragon Bolt Z for like two weeks straight. I'm going to be farming GP and Dragon Bolt Z, and then we're going to go to Zami. We're going to have... I was thinking about it. If we got five people in a group and a Dragon Warhammer is a 1 in 5k drop, technically, we're looking at a 1 in 1k on the Lizardman Shaman, and we can trade and drop trade that Warhammer around in Corp, which ain't bad, right? So and like, can you drop that in spec? Bro, oh, you I just gave out your good. whole plan, dude. Yeah, dude it's I'm over for you, buddy. Dude, I'm no, just no, just, for it, man. Just, just spec transfer, so the same person can keep specking that. Oh, bit. but then yeah, someone, has to do, so someone has to do like lunar diplomacy, and then the moon clan yeah. quest or whatever it is. We're drop trading. I, It'd be fine. I just want to see. I just want to see you drop it in the corp layer, and someone just run in and telegrab it. <laughs> <laughs> we we gotta do a couple tests though, because we could do instanced. Obviously. You just do spec but transfer, like, bro. Wherever... Why don't, don't drop, don't drop. Just spec transfer, bro. I'll, I'll, I mean, we I'll... could do that, but yeah, then everybody... Cool, bro. Dude, everybody then has to go and grab themselves bloody... What's the second Lunar Dream Mentor? It's worth, yeah. it's worth, man. It's, it's way faster than you dropping and trading. <laughs> Mate, we were, we were talking about killing Zami with bone crossbows, man. Like, we're talking about rags to riches, like Ellie that, in two that days. Sounds, <laughs> that sounds super fun. So when I was you, saying the sweatiest people got it. hype... Yeah, but he meant what you're saying. Rexy, none of you will be able to wield the Ellie or make it. I know, but we want oh, to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we you have it, it. we swear. Just, it's an inventory, look. You but know, just, like... just painting a picture, like, I, I'm a player that's not played our man. I'm very excited for this. And I, I think that there will be a big portion of the player base that are like me. And they're like, oh, I don't really want to commit to a solo game mode, but doing that with a friend sounds fun, you know? Because. Yeah. That's I I'm agree. With it. I agree. I think it'll be. I think it'll be very hype. And I, I don't think it's gonna be for everyone, but I do think people are gonna definitely be playing it. Um, I was just yes. thinking, like, Rice and his solos. Like, you guys hear that when you die, you kind of relive your life in sixteen seconds. I was just thinking, Rice, like, seven of those seconds would be like corp. <laughs> <laughs> then the next is gonna be like nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Um, 
I don't know it's how you do those grinds, man. Dude, Respect. that's hilarious. Dude, someone should make like a like a montage clip of like a really bad. That would be a great hardcore man death. You die to something, and then you get like a real fast like flickered flashback of like tutorial Dude. Island. Goblin, <laughs> oh. like, for like ten seconds. That would be, be a sick edit right there. That would be. Really I had a hardcore. I, my my flashback would only be four hours of footage though, so I'd be good. I like that. <laughs> um. So I say we start talking about Dead Man Mode, or what a lot of people are calling it as Lag X, the tournament. Um, any thoughts on the tournament before we jump into the Dead Man Mode tournament? It was good they had a tournament. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it made some news. It made some headlines. Good job. I, I feel I feel super bad for them if it if the lag was. Did you see it was like a whole UK? I did. I heard the ISP or something, something I, like that. I, I feel they, they also uh, recently yeah, they also said you know. that it was uh, actually a DDoS too. Like they yeah. confirmed that it was actually. So DDoS. That was, yeah. I, I actually, because I'm from the UK, I can comment on this a little bit. So, firstly, it wasn't. It, it was like a server thing. So I, I think that Netflix, Xbox Live, there was a yeah. ton of huge names a, that were affected list, by yes. this. Xbox Live, yeah. And mm -hmm. obviously, this was a very hot topic because you had. Oda block with 50,000 viewers just flame and Jagex for a dog shit server and game and stuff. So it's like, you gotta be a little cautious with that fire. But like, here's no the shoes. reality. It, it's like Jagex in the actual, uh, in the post that they put up on their website, it was interesting because they gave a lot of transparency because they could have quite easily just been like, yeah, you know, the massive server going down, which was like Xbox, Netflix, etc. That was the cause. But they literally said in their post that wasn't the main cause of the servers lagging like that. They said that it was yeah. direct DDoS and attack. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I, I look at that as them just being very transparent and honest because That's they could have they could have just been like, yeah, you know, fucking Netflix was down and we're like a peon compared to that massive Goliath. Um, <laughs> yeah. Whereas they weren't, they were very transparent with it. So yeah, you know, yeah. it is what it is. Um, just for those who are just tuning in and wondering, Dead Man Mode Tournament was a $32,000 cash prize. About, I think, a thousand plus people entered 1v1s. And as soon as those 1v1s happened, or maybe it was 2K, um, people just started lagging. And we're talking top tier gear. Took them about six weeks to get on this non permanent game mode. Uh, just kind of some cool comparisons. And Elijah and Spirit Shield on Dead Man Mode was going about for 4 billion OSRS. So, and there were maybe like 10 or 20 of those in the game. These people were hunting, trading, swapping, getting ready for the 1v1s. And as they were happening, uh, it looked like ass, dude. It was like four FPS. You would move, and it, like four seconds later, you get there. Uh, the fights are just absolute trash. And everyone who grinded for these items, sweated blood, maybe even bought these items for much, mucho money, uh, they just didn't even get to use them, right? And even the 1v1 at the end for the $30,000 cash prize, or I guess 20 to 10K, even that was just bad. Like the commentators, which did a great job, Pierce Spam and Aiza, um, they were even like, oh, let's just wait for the game to load here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, and if he gets a shield on, oh, we just got to wait a little bit. So that's how <laughs> bad it was oh if you weren't God. watching that. And everyone was roasting it. And the news didn't just make RuneScape headlines because obviously Oda Black at the time, 50K views, like Rexy said, not only so that, xqc one of the top streamers on twitch and we're talking this man holds more than runescape community combined at during streams right it's, it's wild replied so yeah <laughs> <laughs> he, he he responded to the tournament and oda Black. so not only made runescape headlines it made twitch news and then it went on to youtube and got hundreds of thousands of views and this does not look good for not only runescape but for the pvp side of runescape so that's kind of the backstory of everything going on Dead Man Mode Lag X, in case you were just wandering in. Yeah, yeah sorry, I went off on a tangent before you explained it. My bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. I'm sure everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, I just missed. wanted to yeah. know. I just yeah. I wanted to get that thought out while it was in my mind because, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of people were very heated going into this. And I, I will say, like, should I say it? I don't know if I should say it, but... Oh. Like, <laughs> if you're, like, the people that voted no to Group Iron Man, like, due to that like i just like you're talking about a game mode that's temporary and like it was blown out of proportion like sure it fucking sucked it was a shit show we could all see that pure spam aiza 
Like, they can't just sit there as representatives of the company and just be like, yeah, this fucking shit sucks. Like, they can't do that. Like, and from my experience, because I actually hosted, or I don't know if I hosted or whatever I did, when I did my Deadman mode, which happened to be a rerun, because they have done reruns, and clearly they're going to do a rerun when it's that bad. It, it, yeah. It's like, half the time, as the person who's hosting it, you don't have a clue what's going on. You're not told anything. There was shit. There was stuff that happens with mine, um, and I can't remember what it was. I don't know if it was DDoSing or something like that. And I was like commentating the fight. I'm just like this idiot's not even eating his food. Like, what's he doing? Do you know what I mean? But I don't know. He's being DDoSed. So I'm just watching it, and I'm just saying like, yeah. Aiza and Pure Spam probably didn't know until someone behind the camera was like, "Check your phone." You know, they probably had no idea, but. I'm going on a tangent regardless. It, it, it's Rexy, like, I'm wondering, did they tell you anything in your ear like that you can't say when you were pro broadcasting at all? I didn't have anything in my ear. Apart from they, they didn't whisper. Bro. They'd be like, hey, don't talk about that man not eating or something. They didn't say nothing uh -huh. to you. No, it's nothing. No, like nothing. It, it's made out to be this big thing like where it's like a top secret thing and they can't say bad things. But like, A, it, it's you like don't you, you don't really do that in a professional scene firstly. And B, it, it's like you don't even know half of it. Like, obviously... If I was commentating that and I was like, I saw how laggy that shit was, which they did. What else can you do than ever to try to like just play it off a little bit? But like here, here's the thing. Like the thing that I didn't like was how it was down. It was played as they're not going to do anything, and because they're not going to do anything, there's not going to be a rerun of this tournament. Let's go and destroy you know a, a certain group of people's fun for the next X amount of years with Group Iron Man. Like, it's such a short-sighted, extreme, stupid view to have, I believe. But, like, yeah. I, I, I just I just think it's so dumb. I'm sorry. Like, I, I like Odeblock. I even I even subbed to him afterwards and said, dude, I'm sorry, man. Like, that sucks. But, like, at the same time, it's like I can like somebody and just disagree with them, to like, vastly. Because I think that was dumb as hell what that guy did. And, uh... Like that is not a reason to vote no to someone, but that's just my opinion. Like that's in a, it. In a way, it, it's reminding me of like a sports riot. Like your sport team loses because of a bad refs call, and they go riot the streets and break stuff and make like Show chaos. Like yeah. yeah, like it, yeah, like yeah. It was a, something bad happened, but you don't need to cause this like ripple effect. I know Otis standing on top of a car with like some flaming things. Oh, let's kill! Let's fucking destroy everything in the city! Like. <laughs> It's what? just it's just so short sighted and it just seems just so extreme. And like mm -hmm. I, I just I was watching it and I was just thinking like I can't believe there are so many people that are just going along with this shit. I was just like, Jesus Christ. It was it was an it was like a mob mentality where it's like an anger, like yeah, they were they were frustrated. Like some of them put in like no life for a month just to get lagged out and die. Some got teleported out of the final and just couldn't even fight. Um, yeah. So they were angry, and they they took their anger out, which is you know if you're angry, you shouldn't you shouldn't take it out like that. I guess there's other ways to deal with yeah. you. I, I want to be the um, what would you call the it? I just play the other side here, not even the yeah, PK. Yeah. De devil's, devil's, advocate. devil's advocate, right? Because I don't 100 percent agree, but I just gotta yeah. say you put all this time in, all this effort, and you get this gear. You swap. We're talking Ellie's like it's yeah. like four mil OSRS. Um, ACVs were like 70, 70 mil OSRS, dude. All these items, yeah. all these crazy gear. And then you can't even use it to your fullest potential to try to win the cash yeah. prize. Maybe you didn't even yeah, think you'd be angry. Win. You'd, you'd, you'd be angry. Well, yeah, you try. Yeah. I mean, you put so many hours in, and it's just I see that. And then yeah. you also have no PvP updates coming into the game, and I see that as well. Yeah. And that's why I brought up earlier in the group Iron Man section is like, do you agree uh, with this method of getting PvP updates in the game by voting no to all these yeah. mainstream items or uh, updates coming in? And I don't know if I agree with it, but it seems like it's bringing attention to the subject. And yeah, I, I guess what we're saying is that to they're, the subject they're, hitting boiling, they're, hit, they're, hitting, they're hitting the boiling point. They're like, we haven't had updates. This is going wrong. Like nothing's nothing's going the way for them. So they're they're making noise and, and they're getting heard, which is how how change happens in, in the world or in a game. Like Yeah. So and we'll, that's we'll why I'm like, maybe is this is it. This yeah. might be the only way, actually. And that's kind of depressing because yeah. I don't advocate for voting no to anything you don't want because someone else wants it. But it might yeah. actually be the only way for Jagex to go, oh, you guys miss revs? Oh, you miss Bounty Hunter? You miss having fun in the wild? Maybe we should yeah. bring that back. Maybe bots weren't 
the problem. Maybe it was just us. So I don't know, man. It's it's yeah, kind of crazy how this all falling apart. I mean, yeah. it's it's it like th- this. I feel like all of this literally stems to the polling system, like this whole conversation, right? And it's like if that polling system has done anything in this game, it is very clearly divide groups of people and what they enjoy doing in the game. And it's it like really, real politics. Yeah, over time, like, it has. I, yeah, over time. I've said this so many times. It's like as soon as a video game starts to have politics in it in any way shape or form it's like that's not a good thing it's like you don't play your fantasy click and point fucking medieval video game because you want to deal with politics no it's like you play that game because you want to enjoy it you, you don't want yeah. to come home to politics you know what i mean and it's like runescape kind of is happens. full of politics it's yeah full of that <laughs> yeah i i just uh, i just hate i just hate the people are like did you hear about this guy saying it's like bro I didn't hire you to be the news reporter, man. You know, I don't need to hear about this, like this drama. Like, dude, I'm playing a game. I'm trying so to show drama. Yeah, yeah. Do you know think people only play RuneScape for the drama? I mean, like, I call them the gossipers. Any other game, dude. I call them the gossipers. any other game. I hate it. There, there is no. This is it. I mean, Minecraft has drama, but that's more like horrible drama where people are getting touched. You know what I mean? RuneScape's like got that drama where people are selling gold and. <laughs> You know, dude, Different honestly, it is, yeah, not it's not, I haven't heard of any other touchers. Group. Well, there's, there's a couple of touchers, but <laughs> they're, they're, they're not it's not the that, main yeah. drama. Yeah. The, the drama people yeah. are talking about is different. There's always yeah. political. Group. Yeah, we have a political kind of drama where it's different. We need, like, there's in, why, I think there's way too much drama in RuneScape. People just need to yeah, see the lighter side. We're playing a fun game. We Most of us enjoy it. Hopefully there's some good updates. Yeah, it's but, a video game, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Behemoth, man, you were making all these... Yeah. Yeah. So I was just gonna say yeah. you're making all these alt channels, man. Maybe you should make like a news channel, dude. I'll come on, I'll be an anchor. We could just be hey, what's <laughs> fucked up today in RuneScape? And we just go off, yeah. right? Because there's always something. And I think people yeah. actually want to know that. I mean, maybe that's why Oak Dice still gets those views, right? Because that's what he makes videos on. Drama yeah. and what's going on, and there's always something yeah. going on, or that man would probably move to another game. I know there's no other game. Yeah, you're right. RuneScape um, is the drama. There is so much drama. Yeah, it's, it's it's rare for the game just be going smooth and and no one's upset with something. You know, I don't think that's happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I feel like that in a way is a consequence of giving the players too much of a fucking yeah. voice in the situation yeah. because then it's like didn't go my way. I'm gonna be you know outraged about this or whatever. But like, I think. I, 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 yeah. Sorry. I, if I, I like could, go, that, you go. You go. You go, Hobie. You go. You go. <laughs> You go. I was going to say, I, I link that back to um, sort of when we said that this game has to have a permission highlight channel, not just a big one, like because the community is so connected and, and it's smaller where it's like, yeah, and if I don't know how to say it. If, do, do you kind of get what I'm saying? Where we're a smaller game that's all like really intertwined in everyone's stuff, what's going on, where it's not like Jagex is the boss, here's the updates, we just cop them and do what we want. Like say Fortnite. They want to do an update, they'll just do it. Everyone goes, oh, sweet, this and that. Like, they're, they're so big that they can just do that. Whereas RuneScape's like, it's there'll more be intimate, backlash, there'll it? be years. Yeah, it's an intimate game, which it, it's, like, a lot of people love it because of that and and that, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know, you go. I, I, I was just going to say, to go back to the, um, just real quick to touch on the whole Odoblock dead mode thing that happens. Um I, I feel like a lot of outrage was on a false premise that Jagex wouldn't rerun the tournament when yeah, it yeah, has been, and the last time they reran the tournament, the lag wasn't even fucking close to how bad it was on this one. So, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I just wanted to add that, because that was something that, as a viewer watching that stream, yeah. I was I, just I think the default, like, so wrong. the default isn't to go, oh, Jagex will fix this, like... Afterwards, the default perspective, like the most most of the viewers or players' default is go after Jagex. They're gonna they're gonna do a terrible job. They're not. It's not the default view to go. Oh, we'll back Jagex. They'll do something good. But and there is a reason why that's the default uh, perspective <laughs> yeah, of everyone. You know, that, it, there's a reason for that. Um, if you keep failing this and not doing that, people are gonna think that's gonna happen because they're used to that happening. Um, so no one's mm-hmm. no one's saying, oh, Jagex is the boss. They'll they'll do what's right. They'll fix this up because they haven't always done that. Yeah, no. the faith has been lost. And to bring it back yeah. to the Dead Man Mode uh, tournament, um, 
I want to I want to ask you guys, what do you think they should do? Right. I wish what they would do is, uh, you know, give the prize money to the winners because we did have yep. my mad K on. We've actually had a lot of J mods on. So if you're watching, feel free to go check all that out. But uh, my Matt K said that when they run a demo tournament, usually they get about a million dollars in subscription revenue. Right now, now that we have wow. Oda and all these crazy people streaming, I'm sure it's much more in subscription revenue. So there's no way that they're not going to make that back if they give out the prize money. Plus, it, there's something called goodwill, I believe, in companies where it's not the amount a company uh, owns, like buildings and stuff. It's just the faith of, mm -hmm. of a company, right? If Nike makes a shoe, you're like, that's probably a good shoe. And that adds on to the company's uh, wealth, pretty much. So when you sell it, you can get more because you have good faith in the brand. So if they were yeah. to rerun the tournament back from, I don't know, 100, 200, 500, hell, just do the whole tournament again, right? It would not only bring out more goodwill in the company, it would definitely yeah. be better, especially when Twitch streams, the longer they are, the more promotion you get and the more views you get. So it's going to work out either way. So, yeah, so I, would, I would definitely so like that, to see them rerun that. Yeah, so that, that default view I was talking about, that would slowly change. If Jagex went... We're, we're rerunning it again, same prize money, and we're still paying out the old winners. People would be like, oh, crap, this is awesome. And then next time something happens like that, they go, people, people wouldn't jump down their throats. They'd go, well, they did something pretty like awesome last time. Maybe they'll, do, they'll, they'll back what they're going to do. So. Mm -hmm. so what have they said was going to be the rewards uh, for the rerun of the tournament? They the haven't talked about rerunning the tournament. Yeah. No. Wait, Actually, in the Dev Mode blog, it said we will not rerun the tournament, so people don't think they might they they won't do it. So I, we don't actually know. We thought we were going to no, hear back would... by Monday, and they're still looking into the the dosing. No, they will they will rerun it. I'm pretty certain are, they said that. Are you that. sure? I yeah, thought I think they said something. I thought sure there they was a, as well. I thought there was a line in the um, one of the blogs that was getting taken out of context where it said it was something like we won't restart it, or it said we won't rerun it. But one of the J mods tweeted that. It wasn't that they won't redo the tournament if they need, but once the tournament started, they're going to finish it that, that day off and get a winner no matter what. They won't restart that one. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, so I mean, I, I, I actually hope. Have, yeah. I, I have the, the writing here, uh, and it says, we are determined yeah. to do what is right for the affected players, but as mentioned above, investigations are still ongoing. That's regarding DDoSing. Uh, so we're not ready to announce what actions we're going to undertake. Basically, they want to sort out the DDoS in situation, I guess, before they can rerun. Uh, whilst mm, we are yeah. still going to honor the outcome of Friday's event, we are actively exploring the possibility of a rerun, just as we did in the yeah, Spring Finals in 2019. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't read that. That's, that's great. That <laughs> that they're so yeah, they are going to be doing going to do a rerun. I can't see them giving out the same prize money. I really can't. No, I don't I, think they, they will should. Either. They should. To be honest, they, they should. I think it'll be like. I, I think it'll be like a mini, like one thousand for the winner, five hundred second. I think it'll be something pretty, pretty tiny. Yeah, Behem, if you were saying that, like the 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 faith of the people has definitely swayed, and I feel like Jagex yeah. obviously has a huge part in that because if they knew yeah. they were going to do a rerun during the first Dead Mode Mode tournament that they had, right? The, I mean, not the first one, but the one they just did. If they did it on the live stream, we're like. We noticed a lag. We noticed the latency. We're going to look into it, and there definitely will be a rerun, right? Because it's common sense if you look at the dosing that there needs to be a rerun. Yeah. No one else was thinking that this it's, was a great tournament. It's common sense. Yeah, they should have announced a, it on a, a live stream. Decision. It's a big decision to like while you're live doing it to just say we will rerun it. But even if they said there's a high potential that there will be a rerun, everyone would just calm down and go, okay. They, they've at least acknowledged exactly. it when there was no there's no acknowledgement. Everyone just kept it just kept snowballing the anger that everyone's just like, yeah, they should have said, you know, we have a big there's a we always had a possibility of doing a rerun if this happened. But I don't think they knew that they wanted to until everyone got so crazy. And then they kind of they kind of boxed in a spot where they do have to do a rerun or else yeah. it'd be even even more um, riots or whatever. Yeah, whoever's yeah, and, the and lead of this, whoever's the lead of this is just pretty incompetent in my opinion <laughs> that's what i'm saying like it's annoying that they're putting their own foot in their mouth because they're not going to say anything it's like why would you go yeah. quiet you have all of this information people are angry give them yeah. anything and they chose not to so really at the end of the day it yeah. is definitely their fault for dealing with the situation horribly i feel like there's like all these j mods like they all have to have a big discussion and talk i feel like there should just be one main boss that goes like I'm watching sure it with like, like i think yeah, there is watching with everyone else going it oh it's all lagging Makes the call to, to Ian, pure spam, and goes, yeah, tell everyone that most likely or potentially there will be a rerun because it's 
it's gone wrong. Like tell everyone that and everyone will calm down straight away. And yeah, I, I gotta mm-hmm. I gotta wonder, was that Mod Matt K's job to kind of come up with those situations? Because I feel like ever since he left, things have been going more ass backwards, and that man was actually the glue to keep Rinscape running right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know we've lost yeah, so no, many I, good I, Yeah, there might be mods. like a corporate lead for that for, for you know that makes that decision, but like and, whoever and it is, so, he's using yeah. confidence. I, get rid of him. Get rid of that yeah. guy, man. Whoever I, yeah, has somebody is, that's yeah. been on the stage for the demo mode finals, it, it's yeah. like every J mod's working on it together. So it's yeah. not just one person, but obviously there's going to be a shock. No, there needs to be a and shock caller, bro. Whoever yeah. it was, was yeah, yeah. confident as fuck. It, it, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, precisely. Like... But it, it's all the J mods that are working on it. I, I have no idea who the person who'd be, you know, the head can of the make, thing it, going. Can, can those J mods, while it's going on, can they, go, can they just have a quick talk and go, yep, let's rerun it, same money, do it? Or do they have to go talk to, like, talk to the bosses of Jagex? Can we have an extra 30,000? Oh, definitely. Probably. Yeah, they wouldn't. Yeah. They, wouldn't they, they can't just make the say there. No, no, no. Even if it is Mod Matt K, like, he could probably say, we're going to do a rerun, but he couldn't promise, like, any money or anything like that. But um, See, Maybe the Jagex bosses, because you hear how little the Jagex um, J mods are paid compared to other games. They're paid, like, I saw one. Um, live stream from jagex and one of the j mods kind of hinted that they get paid such a small amount compared to what the game makes and it's other strange. games yeah, other yeah games this get is the game industry it's we, terrible we've had game industry Matt terrible. K on and we've like asked him about that and stuff and he, he pretty much disagreed with it but i, I guess it you know yeah, right. the game industry is, gonna say I'm paid is, while the other is person's terrible gonna say I'm not. it yeah. is what it is you know yeah no no I but like the... gen- generally speaking the game industry does not pay the workers that much like yeah, yeah, you have to be extremely senior in, in like the company to even like have something yeah. that is generous, you know, even considered generous. Like yeah. you literally go in there just to get exploited. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's that's game development. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. Yeah. You literally that's do that it. shit because you love it and, and not because you're there for the money. Yeah. Yeah. The CEOs are the one that's like mm, yeah. yes, you know, dipping yeah. you know, like this. But so, yeah. I, I guess we'll be seeing that rerun. We just don't yeah. know if the cash prize is going to be the same. I, I don't um, think it will be. This, it, I don't think it'll be much. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I hope. I hope I'm wrong. I, I I'd be happy if it was like if it was like ten thousand for the winner, five thousand per second. I'll be like, that's pretty decent. I'll be happy. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. Wait and they see. They should triple it. They should triple it just to get some good faith in that. It's like, get, sorry get guys, Mr. here you go. Mr. Beast in. <laughs> Dude, think, they should um, just fly over Tyler one and just have him, no one else on the couch, and he's just screaming the whole tournament. Dude, just dude make that I, back man, I literally suggested that to them when I hosted it. I was like, I your remember. views would be insane, like if you wow. did that. And he actually played RuneScape, so like he probably would know like a little bit in Bob. Yeah. Like, um, but no, I think, um, yeah, it was a shit show. Uh, yeah. I, I think that to be honest with you, like. I don't know enough about DDoS and attacks to really have, you know, the knowledge to be able to say whether they could protect against it or not. But regardless, I think, you know, the fact that they're trying to, uh, you know, do another tournament and make up for the first one, I, I think yeah. that's okay. Uh, and it give everybody a second shot at hopefully a lag-free tournament. And God, if the second tournament lags out, then it's I don't worse. know what to say at that point. Yeah, Like, they need to fix... Uh- something but like i said i have absolutely no expertise in server protection ip shit i don't know anything consider me well, you know who should know something naive. it's runescape so rakes you don't you um don't you have a code for a nice vpn they could grab <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> although although i i will say Next video will be sponsored by Raycon, and they have a free VPN, boys. Go and check out my link in my next oh. video. <laughs> Get up, the bot, J-Mods. Wait, is it? Uh, all right. Did yeah. I say Raycon? Sorry, I meant Oprah GX, not Raycon. What am I talking yeah. about? Yeah, you Jesus did Christ. say. I, I, was, I was thinking. You got Oprah? I was, Oprah. I was honestly thinking, <laughs> like, headphones come with a free VPN. Like, what oh, the dude. fuck? Okay, like, Rake CD. I always get those two mixed up. God damn it. <laughs> I hope you how, make the mistake when you send them the ad. <laughs> how often, dude? How often do you have to use the word Oprah and opera? I mean, <laughs> no, it's like, I listen, man, I'm dyslexic, and Raycon and Oprah are both red. I don't know if that has anything to do you with dyslexia, but like, I do, yeah, I really do. And because I, I was talking opera, right? Oh, it's not called Oprah. That's a black lady with a hit co- hit TV show, right? O- opera, GX. Oprah. Is opera. it Oprah? Oprah. I have Oprah. no idea, bro. Oh, for Oprah. Oprah, is when, Oprah is when you're singing like. 
<laughs> Are you, dude? There's no way they're called Oprah, bro. It's, wait, hold up. It's O P. Sorry, O P E R A. I think they say on the ad how Oprah. to pronounce it. I remember doing Oprah. that, and that. I think it said how to pronounce it. Yeah, they probably do somewhere. Regardless, yeah, the uh, <laughs> the game and internet browser. That's why I meant free VPN. Check yeah. it out, boys. Um, um, and I might have to get going to... in a little right. bit, lads. Okay. I might have to get going soon. Um, no, that's okay. That's it's fine. I don't know if you guys want to stay and finish it off, and I'll jump out, or no, what, dude, we'll end it with you. How, how long do you have? Do you have an ETA on how long? Oh, not really. Just got the fam waiting to head out for the day with me. Oh, dude, what what are you guys getting up to, bro? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, we got um two of La- Lara's nephews over. Her um, sister had to work today, so we're watching two of the kids. They're out. But can you see? Damn, that looks hot right out there, home. bro. <laughs> hey, oh yeah, it's nice. swing, man. It's the backyard. Yeah, they're all waiting for me to finish up, so we can go out and do um, head to the waterfront, have a little walk, and go to the shops together. Um, well, the last thing we had to cover, and it's very small, is the new PvP updates, and then they're adding some uh, <laughs> stuff for bulwarks. They're making it stronger. And get this, boys, the PvP updates we've been waiting for is now the middle part of the Rev Caves. You can only go in or out once, and then you can't do it again. That is the first update. The second update is if you have a wilderness sword on you, you will cut webs even if you're not wielding it. It just has to be in your inventory. So PvP is saved. I can quit my job. We're <laughs> set. Clans are back. What, what, was the, what was the Rev Caves? It was, yeah, I read it was one way only. You just for one entrance, one so. Just a middle one outside of Hobgoblins. So it's not like it's great. You know, <laughs> you still got Hobgoblins right outside that cave. So if you're following someone out there, you're still yeah. probably not going to get the kill. Yeah, I mean, right. for Q&A purposes, though, it, it wasn't bold. I'm guessing it just came into the game as a Q&A or sorry, not Q&A, um, quality of life. Yeah, that is Q&A. Is, it, is that correct, Mint? Was it polled or is it just a Q&A? I don't know if it's polled. I just have to I have to say, though, if everyone's wanting PvP updates and your next blog is talking about a one-way entrance into a cave, then yes, whoever's running that is lacking comments. That's I mean, all. yeah. <laughs> all I gotta I, say, I, man. I, I think you're right there. I think people expected a bit more, but memes aside, I guess, slashing a web without having to equip your whip's not a bad thing, maybe? I. <laughs> There's that, yeah. I guess. I mean, this is the thing. We need to have a whole PvP, uh, a whole PvP podcast. Anyways, uh, did you want to yeah. talk about the bulwarks, by the way, Mint? Because I know that you are mad hoarding those bitches. This is your time to try <laughs> and, uh, you know, sell it to the people real quick. I'm not sure if they went up in price. I haven't logged in, but I believe now the update to make it so that uh, if you're wearing tank armor, you can hit harder with the bulwarks is in. Rice, do you know? Is that what happened? What in the hell is he doing? Sign language, bro? Muted, bro. <laughs> he doing sign no, yo, yo, <laughs> let's, let's get let's get Behemoth yeah, on his yeah. way. We're we'll wrapping up, so. Behemoth, mate. I hope that you, you guys feel free lovely. to finish off. The, I don't want to yeah, cut yeah. the discussion short. If you guys want to finish it up after it's, I go, we've been going for yeah, almost yeah. two hours here, dude. But dude, yeah. thank you very much for coming on the podcast, man. I'm sure I'm everybody watching know who you are, but we will link all of your stuff down in the description. And uh, dude, have a fantastic, lovely day with your family. That sounds very wholesome, man. For sure, man. for sure. Let me know when it's out. I'll um, give it a little plug for the RuneScape News video. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. All right. Thank you very much. Num- yeah, links, number- his link's in the description. Yep. The number one RuneScape podcast in the world. Thank you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sir. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Come on, man. Kind of. <laughs>